So in this video, I want to show you the easiest way to map effects into any controller. For this example, I'm using this Newmark DJ to go to touch, and we are going to map these headphone buttons as effects buttons because there is a really cool setting in DJ Pro. If you go to sound settings, it will auto select which side to use the headphones on. So basically these buttons are useless because the app does a really good job if you move the crossfader or if you raise and lower the volume slider, they will change. So to map anything in DJ Pro, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the middle button here. And if you're in settings, you could go to MIDI devices and then click on your controller. Or if you're mo in modes, you could press the controller icon and then press the controller that you want. This is what you're going to see when you want to map something. Up here is all your, your mappings that you've done, or if you didn't do any, they'll just be the built-in if it's a supported controller. And it may be a good idea to make multiple different mappings depending on what kind of DJ you're doing. Maybe do a scratch one or do an EDM one. It's up to you, but this is where you will find them. And then this side, it looks confusing, but this is every button and knob and what it currently does. And then to the right here, the target is where it's going to control. And then the action is what it's going to control. So we want to control these buttons on each deck. So it may seem complicated, but it's really easy. All you do is press the button, press the button and it selects note D number one. So now what we're going to do is change the target. So if you are looking for your effects, you're not going to find it here because we are in Mixer. We want to switch from Mixer to Deck 2. Now we're going to scroll all the way down till we see effects. You, pretty much every feature in the whole app will be here, so there's a lot to scroll down. But now we're in Effects, and we just want to do Effects 1 enabled. Just like that, and then we'll do the other side, Deck 2. And then now we're going to go to FX1 enabled. Press save. Make sure you press save. So now let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So really cool. We have the effects there and it's good for scratching because the effect is right here. So you could scratch and then put an echo. I like to do echo outs on my drop scratches. So now uh, on each effect, there's going to be parameters. So on echo, there's beats. But if we switch to flanger or most others, there's going to be this. So most effects sound better if you control the parameters. So how would we map that? So we're going to choose a knob for that. I'm going to choose the volume knob. We're going to go back to mapping, choose our knob, choose deck two. And now you'll see that there's a lot of different options. It's not the same because there's different things you can map only on buttons and only on knobs. So we want to scroll down the effect and we're going to have FX1 parameter. Save. So now it'll control that slider or if it's one that controls beats, we could change the amount of beats in the echo. This may be annoying because now I have no volume slider, so I'll have to use the screen. But keep in mind, if your controller is near your iPad, you still have every feature on the screen. So the things that you want that tactical feel on, then you can map it into your controller. So we have our our manual effect on and off. You, it's only one effect, but it's better than nothing. But now what happens if you wanted to map the effects into these into these pads? The Hercules DJ Control Mix Ultra put the instant effects on the pads, but this controller only has Q, Auto, Manual, and Sample. So to map this, it's going to be a little bit more complicated, but still super easy. Go back to our mapping section, in our mapping section here, and then now I like having the cues. I use the cues every time I DJ. I use the auto loops, and I use the sampler but I never use manual loops. So I'm going to press pad mode. So the light is going to be lighting up manual. So this, so I'm still going to have my cues, still going to have my auto, still going to have my sampler. But if I rotate this, then I could be a manual. So I want to control it in manual. So now I'm going to press one of these pads. So this is deck two, which is good, but we want to change the action to instant effect one. And then we'll do the one next to it to effect two and we'll map them all. So just like that, we mapped our instant effects. 
So now the change from manual is over here on the right. Down here is where you're going to select it. There's all your features. You're going to go to effects. So we have we have our inst our manual effect there. And then if you wanted to change this manual effect, you're going to have to do it on the screen. Press the drop down menu. Now we're going to go to instant. So we have our instant effects right where we would want them. And then if you want to change which one controls which, you're going to press the pencil button, pencil button here, and then you could press the three dots and you could put any effect. So choose the effect that you're going to want to use that's going to be easy to use with your, with your finger when you're using the jog wheel. So let's say we want to punch. And there we go. We have manual of a manual effect button. We have instant effect button and we can control our manual manual effect parameter and beats. And if you want to learn how to connect your iPad to any type of DJ controller, check out this video over here. Thank you.